What is up my galaxy gamers, Livy back again and we are back with the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now today is not the final episode, we are going to be going through and doing... Oh my god, no. Okay. Never mind, I, I haven't, right, okay, that's fine. We're okay, we haven't lost all the save data again. That would be so annoying, especially considering the fact that I managed to do all the flight levels. Um, but yeah, so today's episode is uh, focused on skill points and achievements, which I'm trying to remember where the heck, right, here we go, this one, uh, achievements. So, we're gonna go to Stone Hills, I'm not doing that one. Use a cannon to dispatch a taunting Nork. I don't know how that works. Oh, we can do the Hot Wings one. Uh, okay, we can do one of the hot wings, I think. We might be able to do both of them. Complete Nork Cove without killing any rats. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're gonna go through and do the skill points first. Um, and then I guess we'll just go from there. Because I don't want to finish Fyro 1, I love this game too much. <laughs> oh crap. Let's not drop my controller. Also, I would just like to say thank you you guys for the support on yesterday's video. It was actually, like, it's crazy. I, I can't, I cannot comprehend how many views and like likes we got on that video, but seriously, thank you guys. Like, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah. Right, there we go. I forgot we're still polygonal Spyro. One second, guys. Okay, he's less polygonal now. Right, so let's see what skill points we need. Uh, Lofty Castle and Metalhead. So we'll head to Lofty Castle first because I feel like that's going to oh, go past it apparently. Uh, I feel like that's going to be one of the easier ones. Let's just hope I get this. <laughs> I know exactly where it is, um, but yeah, so Lofty Castle is destroy the hidden tree stump, which you guys may remember that the first time I did a playthrough on this, I said I was going to go back and get it, but then I never did on camera, and then I think for the take two Spyro, I decided that I was just going to do it in this separate video, so this should be a fun one. Right, um... Whirlpools, we need those. Right. I'm sure I gotta be over here. Yeah, so the tree stump is. Hang on, I'll see if I can get a good angle on it. The tree stump is over here. Um, we need to get over to there and then glide round, which. Easier said than done, to be honest. I think the first thing we should do is probably get rid of all these enemies, though. Because if they try and hit us, that's going to be... That's going to be annoying to try to deal with. So, anyway. Right, thank you. Just get zapped by you, so then we're up here. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I think I just need to get to the end. Which, considering I've got all the portals open, shouldn't be much of a, like, difficult thing to do. Ah! Oh yeah, there's more guys over here. Oh, okay, I nearly ran right into that one. Basically asking for it. Okay, so we go from here. And we fall? Oh jeez. Okay, this is... Oh no. I haven't got zapped by any fairies, I don't think. The only I don't think I got zapped by the nearest fairy then, so that's gonna be... Wait, where am I? Oh no, okay, no, this works out great. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's try to do that again, and maybe not screw up. Um... <laughs> oh, 
Right, jump from the top of my glide. There we go. You'll love to see it, right. And then... <clears throat> oh crap, now she's zapped me. That's not good, because if we die, we're going to end up down there. And then he's... Okay, let's hope we can do this right. This is probably the most difficult part. we got to glide round. <laughs> That's the most difficult part. Hang on, how do I... Right, do I just headbutt it? There we go. We got our 56 lives back. Right, and now let's go to Metalhead because we have not got a perfect on Metalhead. So I'm pretty sure we just need to defeat him without like him damaging us. So there'll be a point where once we go beyond there we have to make sure we don't get any damage. So I'm going to try my best. But, uh, this is going to be a fun one. <clears throat> you know, this fast travel is, uh... It's slow. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I spoke too soon. Right, okay. So, from this point, it doesn't matter if we take damage from what I know. Um, but it would be better not to, because... If we take damage here, then it's going to be more difficult when we're taking on Metalhead himself. Oh, hello. Bananas, bananas, please. Right, get you to throw that. Please. Yeah, the big enemies aren't too difficult, it's the tiny enemies that are annoying. Are you going to come get me? Yeah, see it like this. This is us throwing bananas. And they have metal armor on. I have to get pretty close to the big guy, which is not ideal. Uh, I have to go over to here. Come on. Okay, and then if I remember correctly, so it's these two, and then there's one banana throwing guy. Yes, I would be correct. There we go. Right, all good. So, if we get zapped by this fairy here, once we step over, not this line, but the next one, that is when we have to make sure that we don't take any damage. So, let's, let's do this. Because the door is now shut. Oh yeah, here's, I'm pretty sure here is a safe point. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I could have got that. Right, that was me being a dingus. It's fine. It's totally okay. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Right, hang on. Uh, Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Just, there we go. Come on. One. Oh jeez. Right, okay, that should reset it and now hopefully we can try and get perfect. Oi oi oi. Oh, I'm just realising, because we have unlimited time on the flight levels now, it might make it a bit easier. Like... In terms of finding the fairies, because the hot wings one requires you to find the fairies for them, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, are you kidding me? I wasn't trying to do that. Right. I think you broke there. One minute, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I really hope this goes better than the last few attempts. Okay. Yeah, good thing is he accidentally destroys some of them by himself, which is pretty, pretty handy. Pretty handy dandy. Come on, throw your guy at me. Throw him at me. Oh, don't do that. Come on. Come on. Over this way. Okay, hi. I know there's like a safe barrier sort of thing, so. 
Ah, <laughs> you dingus butt. Go on then, run like a little baby. Is there any guys up here? No, I forget when you come up here if there's like loads of lives, like little orb things, which is very handy. All right, how many we got? One. Okay, so if we just use the same tactic as we did back there, where we get him to throw the stuff at us, that will work out just peachy. Come on, right there. Maybe that's the strategy. I can't believe I've been missing that this entire time. Like, bruh. Oh, hi. That was close. Right, come on, if you throw here. Oh, cheesy snaps. I don't know where the enemy is. <sighs> okay, that was a dingus butt move. Right, how many we got? Three. That's fine. Huh. Oh, bro, I never noticed you can actually see when the things go towards him. Like, this way, right here, towards me. Oh, jeez, I messed up. I missed. Okay, it's fine. I would rather take this slowly than mess it up. Okay, mm no. This is not going to plan. How many enemies does he have? This is taking way longer than it should because I'm playing this way too risky. Okay. Okay, I see how that. Winkus and Hidoink. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but hey, we'll, we'll allow it. Boom, skill point acquired. Right, let's try to get some of these achievements then. So, where to first? Uh, right. Stone Hell. Let's go there. There's a nice, easy, harmless one. Uh, alrighty. And then... Should really make like a little list of these achievements, or I could pull them up on the laptop actually. On my phone. Hang on. Right, I'm gonna go grab my phone and then I can pull the achievements up on there. Okay, so first one, flame ten sheep. So I take it they mean these little sheepy there. Come here. And they have to be flamed. So that's three. Okay, that's the exit area. I think we want to go through here. Oh yeah, I can hit the little blue dickhead. So we are in the right place. Okay, so get these ones and then that's up to eight. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I'm flaming your sheep, but it's for the greater good. We need achievements, man. <laughs> Alright, that's three more. Come here. Do you think there are actually like a set- Oh, extra life. Nice. Why do I hear- Crystal dragon noises. We've got all the dragons. I'm probably imagining things then. Huh. Right, okay, and then the last few, I assume, are somewhere up here. Yes, here we go. Three more. Which I'm gonna need two, right? There we go. Sheep kebab unlocked. Very nice. Let's see what else. Barnstormer. Come on, let me look at it. Do a loop de loop down around one of the arches in Sunny Flight. I feel this is a bad idea. Uh, we're not doing Barnstormer then. Right, shut the moon. Right, Peacekeepers, let's go. I'm gone. Okay, so all it says to do for this one is dispatch a taunting knock using a cannon. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Um, does that mean you want me to 
if I want to one of these guys, I don't understand. Okay, that's not what they want me to do. Um, I don't understand. What does it mean, dispatch a Nork with using one of the cannons? Um, they want me to do this. Just shoot one of them, and then they run off into the tents. Is that what you want me to do? to destroy one of the tents with the cannon is that what you want me to do use a cannon to dispatch a taunting nork I don't understand what what do you want me to do do you just want me to fire that at him I mean he is taunting me oh okay then Right. Fair enough. I just, oh, okay. I'm getting achievements on these, like, it's on my laptop, it's on the Xbox, and it's all on my phone as well. So it's, everything's coming through at once. Right. Okay. Next achievement is Hot Wings 1, Night Flight Flame All the Direction Fairies. Well, it is a good thing that we are in the Peacekeepers because that means we can just go directly over to it. Okay. Let's not fall. Hey, doink kiss. And because we have unlimited time, that makes this even better. Oh, I love the sky drop on this one. Backdrop. No. Sky box. That's the, that's the one. <laughs> right, so flame all the direction fairies. So I, I think the, the one's talking about the arrows. So I'm not entirely sure how many there are. Uh, I know there's one when we come out of these tunnels here, though. Yeah, hang on, here she is. So we flame her. Did we get her? Right, we've got one. There's the next one. Because I'm not entirely sure how many there are. Um, are we just back at the beginning right now? Oh, hang on, I see one here. That's two. Oh my god, why do the flight controls suddenly feel strange all of a sudden? Like, they feel really... Is this because I'm trying to move the camera around and it's just not having any of it? Two. Oh, there should be another one here. Is it just three? I would think it's just the three, right? Actually lost. I bet I've flown right past her. I'm gonna have you guys yelling at me in the comments. She's right there. What are you doing? It doesn't help that it like it doesn't say how many there are, which isn't great. Um. I do this as I normally would. Wait, I thought I saw something there. Right, I'm going the complete wrong way. Hang on, right, I need to loop back around to the start because this is throwing me the heck off. Um. Okay, right, I forget uh, that one. I'm so confused right now. The, the Hang on a minute, let me see if it's... Because it has a percent, so I can see how far I've got with that. No, it just says 0%, right, hang on a minute. Um, Let me just crash. 
and we'll try this again. So we'll go through the flight level as I would if I was playing it normally, and then I'll be like, aha, she's there. I bet she's going to be in the most obvious place ever, and I'm going to be so annoyed about that. Blame me. That's one, and then we go around here. Aha, there she is! She was really far out, that's why we couldn't find her. Because she hadn't loaded in yet. Oh, what a potato I am. And then the last one should be, unless there's four. I really hope there's not four. That would be so annoying if there were four. Right, and the last one is here. Is that all of you? There we go, right. Hot wings one acquired. Now let's go to uh, hot wings two, which is crystal flight. Wait, that's oh right here. Okay, so okay, so some of these achievements are pretty easy. I'll see if I can give the barnstormer one an attempt, but I don't want to. Hmm. Because we've only got five more achievements, and they are barnstormer, hot wings two. Uh, hang on, I'm in the middle of doing this now, so this is where all my focus is gonna be. <laughs> ah, crap. I know there's one of them. Right, there she is. Right, so that's one. And go this way. Right, I think I'm getting to grips with this now. I don't know why I'm actually attempting to do it properly though. Right, no sign of any fairies yet. I can just go over these. I have unlimited time. <laughs> Aha! Right, there's two. Thank you very much. Um. Oh! Alright, that, well that one was really easy. Okay, where else have we got to go? Rocketeer. I'm flying off into the abyss. Right, Terrace Village, like 30 fireworks within 15 seconds. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that one because I already lit the fireworks to blow up the chests and I've got all the gems, so... They won't... Okay, so we can't do Rocketeer because I'd have to go on a different file. Uh, so we just need Raptastic. Uh, so we've got to go to Nork Cove and that's not Nork, right, Nork Cove. I hope this is the one I'm thinking it is. I'm pretty sure the one with the barrels, I think. All we have to do is get to the home portal, like the return home portal without taking any damage. I'm pretty sure that's what it's asking. Wait, no, it's asking without killing any rats. Okay, so we just don't blame the rats. It should be nice and simple. <laughs> then again, you saw what a mess trying to get perfect on Metalhead was, so I don't see this ending very well, but uh, it's gonna be fine. Totally okay, right. We'll try and avoid taking damage because of the fact that we don't want to blame any rats and yeah. This level isn't particularly difficult so I'm not too worried about it. Walking the walls. Where do we go? Where am I heading to? Alright, over here. Okay. Please make it, please make it, please make it. It's fine. There we go. Oh, right, because we landed in the water. Huh. How did that... Come on. Right, so we only have two hits now. This is going to be a bit of a fun one. Come on. Let's do a Donkey Kong. <laughs> I nearly fell. I nearly fell. Okay, is that for me? Right, so we've touched not a single rat. We're all good. We'll find Nandy. Ugh. <laughs> and we'll just stroll on nicely. Hello, I see you. Okay. 
you should just be able to come around the side, yeah. There we go. Alright, we're not doing too bad. Another Donkey Kong moment. Well, actually, jump man if we're going with correct arms. Right. Okay, could have messed that one up. That would have been fun. Um, this way. Ah, oh, isn't that satisfying? God, I, I don't know, like, what happens if we, like... Like, if we accidentally hit one, what's gonna happen? Because I don't want, I don't want that. Thank you. Alright. Right, the return home portal is just there. I'm trying to remember which tunnel it is to get there though. See, there's two rats there, so I gotta be careful because if I end up blowing either of them up, that's gonna be, that's it. We're gonna have to restart. Oh wait, hang on. Oh no, I could be wrong. <clears throat> I don't know what happened with Spyro's angle just then, but I can't complain too much. We'll just vibe with it. I love how they just like spin around and then just fall just like woo goodbye okay and then just return home there we go we did it um all right let's have a look sunny flight loop-de-loop -loop around one of the arches I know how to do that but the thing is I've got to be careful because if you go through a loop, it's destroyed and then that's it, it's gone. So we have eight loops, eight attempts to try and do something like that. So that's going to be a fun one. Alright, we'll go give it an attempt, but first I want to get Sparks' health back up. Take that, thank you very much. Yeah, and then next episode we can finally adventure into Nasty's loop, which I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for that one as well. Yeah, it's called Hoarder. Right, let's go try Barnstormer though. I don't know how many attempts I want to try because I know this isn't going to be a fun one. Don't know, we're about to find out. I gotta make sure I... Because we've got unlimited time, eight loops that we can try it through. I think it'd be better to try it on one of the higher loops because if we try and do it on a low loop and then... Right, so we literally just need to do that. So I reckon if we go slightly above this loop and then try it... That didn't work, okay. I'm just trying to think, hang on, would it work if I did it? Did that work? I don't think that worked. No. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't get what it means by the loop-de-loop -loop around one of the arches because if we go straight through it then that's not gonna work. See we're too high there. But the thing is I can't go through it because that destroys it so I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. Um... Does that count? No? Oh my god, it made the game lag out so much though. Okay, um... 
I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do then, because if I go here, then that's gonna just destroy the arch. Hang on. Let me try. Come on. Come on. Because I know he can do that, but I'm not entirely sure that's what they mean. Bear with me a second guys, because this is a, this is definitely more one of the more difficult ones. Okay, so I will admit I have just looked it up. It's not asking for us to go through one of the arches. Let, let me show you what it's asking us to do. Which if I had known it was this easy, I would have done it. But okay, it's asking us to do this. Yeah, I know. I, I can't even right now. That is just... I cannot believe how easy it was to do that. And I was trying to do it through the actual loops. Oh my god. Unbelievable. I'm so SMH on myself. Daring me. But hey, sweet! Uh, so how many achievements did we get from that? So we got the last two skill points, which has unlocked the art book. And then, you know, let, let's see what my, my Xbox app has to say. Hmm. Here we go. Notifications. Uh, why is it only telling me about the game captures? That's not what I'm interested in. I want to see what achievements I've just done. <clears throat> achievements? Nope. Uh, would it appear on my post? Right, here we go. Okay, so we've just unlocked one, two, three, four, five, six different achievements and two skill points. Very nice. I'm gonna have to get screenshots of those for the thumbnail. But hell yeah, so next episode will be the last one for Spyro 1 and we will be going into Nasty's Loop. And then that'll be it. Spyro 1 Reignited will be finished. And we'll be moving on to Spyro 2. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll get all soppy and say some sad words in the next video. But like... I, I am going to miss this one. I mean, we will be coming back to it. If you guys, you guys know. Um, I do have the original Spyro for the PlayStation 1. So... That will definitely be appearing on the channel, but I think I'm going to do it after Spyro 2 and 3. But, uh, yeah. If you guys did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And, uh, yeah, until the next video, keep sparkling like stars in the galaxy. Bye!